Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. As you can see, we're doing another system test of the Notifier NFS23030. This is actually only the second test I have uploaded so far. For this test, as you can see, we have the 3030 like always. Right over here, we have a Notifier MB12LX, which is always going to be there. Right there, we have a Simplex key test switch. The LED is not um, hooked up. Uh, I'll show you what that does later. Monitor modules above it to make it work on the system. And right there is another MB12LX. That one will probably be changing in the future, but this one will probably be staying the same. And right there, you notice we also have a SDX551. I got that thing for free, so I just soldered wires to it since I don't have a base. But uh, hopefully soon I'll have a few more of those with bases. Now as you can see, the panel has a wire coming out of it. Now this piece of wire is actually for this printer. Now this printer actually prints every single event on the panel. So if there's an alarm, trouble or anything like that, it'll actually come up on the printer automatically. Now I bought this printer for really cheap and it's really loud so I'm not sure if I'm going to, but originally I'm always going to actually mount it uh, inside the bay that I'm not using the panel. So you might see that in the future. For the notification devices, we have what I believe is an E90, I might be wrong on that. Um, I think it's Siemens branded speaker strobe, ceiling mount obviously. E60. E6, yeah, E60. Oh, if I, by the way, Final Graph 13's here. You may notice that relay module is actually a simplex module, and that's because I finally tied in the 4100U, which you can see right there. Uh, that system is not done at all, that's why you haven't seen very many videos on it, but whenever the 4100U goes into alarm, it activates the 3030 via that relay. There's a mini monitor module inside the back box for that relay, and that activates the supervisor on the relay. I will demonstrate that today. And going over for our second AV, we have a Wheelock RSS remote strobe. And for our third device, we have a E70 speaker strobe. I've wanted one of those devices for a really long time, so it's on the system. All right, what should we do first? Um, do the video. All right, we're doing both. Three, two, one. Also, this enunciator displays all the points too. So as you can see right there, it shows FOCP pole station and the printer. I'm not sure why you can see that, but it says fire alarm. It basically says the same thing as the display. And it says it's clear because uh, I acknowledged it. And then alarm for the second one, and I acknowledged it. And then it says a general acknowledge, so it's a whole bunch of events. As you can see, all the AVs are on, and I can go ahead and hit silence. And because of silence, this is going to... I'm not sure if you can tell on video, but it's very loud, so I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it connected permanently. Alright, now we can go ahead and do the smoke detector. That should be enough. And in case you're wondering, this monitor module right here is for that beam detector over there. And if you notice that door holder relay, that's not hooked up yet. I'm waiting for a relay module. So this should activate in a second. There it goes. The strobe is only sync because it's not set to so, so it's not set to uh, wheel lock sync protocol. Please proceed to the stairways and exit the building. Do not use the elevators, but proceed to the stairways and exit the building. All right, go ahead and silence it, and the printer is going to report that in a minute. In the future tests, I'll probably have this printer disabled for testing because it's quite annoying. Alright, and you may notice an LED didn't turn on because I don't have a detector's program into this yet. And that's what these lights right here will be for. Alright, so now we can go ahead and reset both of our MU triple boxes. And that's going to tell me that the device is cleared, the smoke detector, so it actually knows when the level of smoke went down. 
So now it's safe to reset, hopefully. Uh, now it's saying that's no, reset. Hopefully that's it for the printing. The button I'm pressing is the manual forward button. For some reason it says active zone zero, which that zone zero, I'm not sure why it's active, it shouldn't be, but uh -oh. printer is telling printer is telling me yeah, that. Alright, so let's go ahead and back into the graphic screen. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what this key switch does. This is one of the cool things about the 3030. It may not seem cool just because what it does, but you notice these strobes are going off because that uh, key switch is activated, but the panel is all normal. So this is one of the many things you can do with logic equations and zones inside the system, uh, which normal panels you cannot do. And it's also automatic reset, so I flip it back. And I also haven't had time to upload a database to the DVC, which is the voice message controller yet, but when you flip the key switch, it's also supposed to play a voice message that automatically shuts off when you turn the key switch back to normal. Uh, now to finish this test up, let's go ahead and, this is basically because I haven't done a test in a really long time, we're going to go ahead and activate the 4100U and demonstrate the supervisory feature on the 3030. And right now, pull station is missing because I'm using it down on the, on the 4007, which I'll, you'll, you guys are going to see a video that way. I got it working. So here we go. 3, 2, 1. And we have a standard true alert. That looks like outdoor, but it's not. It's just a different cover plate. This true alert is missing. Here we go. 3, 2, 1. And that is not enough smoke to set off the beam detector. It takes a lot. That was quick. As you know, so if you silence the what's the silence? Please. There it goes. You'll notice we have a supervisory come up on the 3030. It's a little faster beeping than the trouble. And this enunciator over here comes up with an amber light. And then it shows that device number 10 is activated. I need to make that orange light instead of red, but it doesn't really matter. And it says right here, 4100 u mon track supervisory. Track means basically, as soon as the 4100 go back to normal, the uh, supervisory will go away on the 3030. And right here, you can see that it says supervisory came in and then it was acknowledged. All right, so now we can go ahead and just take down that smoke head because I don't feel like waiting for it to clear. Go ahead and reset this, and more will come with the, the more will come with the 4100U very soon. I'm working on programming it right now, um, but I will be able to program it very soon. And I ordered a second bay for it, so you'll see me install that. There's the trouble because of the missing head. And as you can see, the system is all normal on the 3030. It didn't have to reset. This is basically saying that the supervisor is cleared and it's all normal. So yeah, that's it. You can go ahead and do an all clear message. Attention, your attention please. The building emergency condition has been cleared. You may return to your normal activity. And if I wanted the strobes to go off while it did that to the alert people, you guys do that. You may return to your normal activities. Attention. Your attention, please. The building emergency condition has been cleared. You may return to your normal activities. The building emergency has been cleared. You may return to your normal activities. Here we can go ahead and shut that off. Attention. So yeah, that's it for the system test. Hopefully you enjoyed. Leave some recommendations for devices to put up uh, on the inputs and outputs below. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.